definition of the reactor in the lab on the live stream. Once you start and if you can reset the whole system the way it is now and then put the what do you call it? Uh, the new reactors of Marco and Armand bond behind each other towards it, you will see magic and you, uh, you try to get a world of science to explain it. Because now you dictate the position. Now it goes back. If you understand what it was, what it was sitting, the way the tree sensor is sitting, go back to pyramids of Egypt then you understand the power of the structure. The three were like and they are a copy of the pyramid. Each sent a plasma because each one of them had a free plasma in the structure. The minute we added the fourth reactor into the middle structure, the 120 Tesla and the list of the motions of the weight and everything else start manifesting itself. Go back onto the recordings, you understand. So, if you look at it, if you understand it, the reactor set one, which was hanging, the copper one, was just, even though small, was brought at the same height as the other two sets, more or less. We created the same condition, as I explained before, the effect of the pyramids. Look at the pyramids around the universe, you have three reactors in line, three pyramids in line. And then you will see the power of it. Some pyramids have four um, sides, which four reactors work? I've got one combination with four, we're just thinking yeah, the back to one instead. So the fourth one is your, once you put three in line, you have to have a fourth one, it's like a forest star formation. This is a very advanced knowledge. The people who brought this knowledge to man at that time, they thought that man was used as a toy to give knowledge he could not understand from this at that time. And they are the ones who constructed the, the, the structures. When you put three reactors together and a fourth one, as you see the free plasma, if you have a knowledge how to line the four, or you put one off at the end of between the third and a free space, you dictate the direction of the flow to the creator. This technology was taught man a long, long time ago, and that's why there was peace. If you go back to the time of the Egyptians when they made the pyramid, there was a lot of nonsense that they used a slave. Now that they have uh, found the transcripts and they translated it to the language you can understand, there was not much difference in between the pay of the guy who was in charge and the man who was pushing the stone. Because they understood it needs to be balance and equality. And they all lived in the same place together. So Egyptians who built the pyramids understood the full concept. And somehow down the line, um, humanity or man is going to go away. This knowledge is not the first time, but now this time we teach the masses, you understand. You need, the minute you have the three, there is a fourth one. You have to look in these structures. Even in Egypt, there is a fourth pyramid. Man has not found it yet. They actually see it, but they don't understand it because it's in a relevant position. Um, I was actually talking about the four sides, like it would have four on no, the no, base no, rather than no, three. The four base is the standard. The four base is the standard. But look at the three structure, physical structure. When you put a four base on top, you have a weaker structure than the three. That's right. The prime structure would be three. That would be the first structure that three-dimensional is a three-dimensional pyramid from a two-dimensional three um, uh, triangle. Uh, the three-dimensional pyramid, three-side three pyramid, the way you do it in your reactors, is one of the most advanced ways of doing it. When you go to four, you have losses, and these are uh, what are called, let's say, the third-generation systems. But uh, 
at a time when the knowledge was given to the man, they were very advanced, and they understood it. And if you find a fourth structure, you have three bases, three line and four reactor line systems are uh, connected to the soul of the creator. And before man is too far to understand the world. It's related to the structure of the human body. If you look at the structure of the human body, if you look at the structure of the human body, you see it. Question CH3 and CH4 might be sort of a, one way of looking at those structures. There's a big difference between the two, but there's only one, one atom difference, but it makes a big difference. Look at the plasmatic structure of each and understand why CH3 is more towards color of orange reddish. Then, then you might be enlightened. But it's too early for man to understand. Far too early. Next question. As a fourth structure, you're talking about the sphinx, then, 